Hello again, crypto experts and investors. Welcome to Atomic Wallet. So today in this hot video, during this hot crypto summer, we're gonna be talking about the cryptocurrency called Monero. But before we continue, don't forget to smash that subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified whenever we have a new video for you. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Founded in 2014, Monero is a cryptocurrency that is widely known for its open source, privacy oriented nature. With an opaque blockchain, it makes transaction details, as well as the amount of every transaction, completely anonymous by disguising the identity addresses used by the participants. It is built on the concept that the majority of cryptocurrencies have transparent blockchains on their network. These transactions can then be traced by anyone in the world who has the means of doing so, meaning that the real world identities of investors and the confidential information that they can have, theoretically, could be accessed by anyone. But with Monero, they make use of privacy-enhancing technology that keeps all of their users completely anonymous. With anonymity comes the mining process for Monero. This is built on the principle that all people are equal and deserve equal opportunities. Monero is very unique compared to other cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin. Bitcoin, the most popular cryptocurrency on the market, works on the protocol that attempts to shield the participant's identity by using pseudonyms and their addresses that is generated by a combination of letters and numbers. But with this process, both Bitcoin addresses and transactions are registered on the blockchain, leaving them out in the open for public access. Hence, a limited option when considering privacy. After a few transactions from the same participant, their addresses can be eventually linked, revealing his or her trends and possibly their identity. So another advantage of Monero is its fungibility nature. This means that units of the currency can be mutually substituted with no difference or distinguishing features between them. Monero also has non-traceable transaction history, which means a safer network with little risk of fraudulent activity. And because of that, Monero is one of the most complicated blockchains in the world today. Monero's key features for improving privacy are built on the concept of ring signatures and stealth addresses. Ring signatures are used to conceal the identity of the sender from other participants in a certain group. These are anonymous digital signatures that don't reveal which members sign off on a transaction. Monero uses a combination of public keys on the blockchain and the sender's account keys, keeping it not only private, but unique as well. Because of this, it is virtually impossible to identify which member's key was used to sign the signature. They also make use of stealth addresses, which are a one-time use thing. These conceal the actual destination address of a transaction as well as the identity of the receiving participant. So the downside is, given the private nature of Monero, it is often used for frowned upon purposes in questionable marketplaces that could contain illegal activities, such as maybe drug marketing or unregulated gambling. Maybe more. <laughs> because of its untraceable nature, it's hard for law enforcement authorities to crack down on these crimes. Monero can be mined on any standard computer on any platform, whether it be Windows, Mac OS, Android, Linux, and whichever else you use. The mining process is where individuals get rewarded for their activities by either joining mining pools or by opting to mine these coins individually. In stark contrast to Bitcoin, which uses application-specific integrated circuits to mine their currency, you might know those as ASICs, well, with Monero, you just have to use a GPU or a CPU of the computer, and that's enough to mine the currency. Via the Monero website, it makes use of an algorithm that provides security to cryptocurrencies such as Monero. This is called proof of work mining, which keeps the amount of money available honest and free of double spending. In January 2020, Monero went for a closing price of about $65.68 per token, with a market cap of $1.14 billion. As of this moment, Monero goes at a price of $206.01, with a market cap of $3.7 billion. So in just a year and a half, it jumped more than 300%. That kind of jump may or may not be sustainable, but with crypto investing comes its risks and its rewards. Some have forecasted that the price of Monero could reach in the 400 range, maybe even 500 range by the end of 2020, and maybe even by 2025, we could be looking at upwards of 1,000. So if you're willing to take the risk, you can do so with the Atomic Wallet. And that brings us to the end of this Monero video. So don't be a stealth address and drop a comment below letting us know what you think and what you want to know more about with Monero. 
Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we drop a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down in the comments.